everyone welcome back to my channel I'm your girl Cupid and today we will be getting into um, what are they afraid to tell you right by they this can be people in general this could be a specific person um, that's really gonna be up to you and what your energy is focused on um, but yes as always we have three groups one two three um, before we get into the groups, though, I do want to say that this video was inspired by Leo in the Third House. Um, he did this reading, and I watched it, and I liked it, so I was like, hmm, that sounds like a fun topic. So, what are they afraid to tell you, right? Um, do I have any announcements before we get into the groups? No. So, anyway... Group one is going to be the skull that I have acquired at a weird store. <laughs> I got this at a really weird store that had like taxidermy and odd items. Very odd items. <laughs> I just love this skull. Anyway, group one is going to be the skull. Group two, of course, is going to be my magic dice, you know. And group three is going to be this big old chunk of black tourmaline, okay? So, as always, I will have an image of the group so that you can pause the video and meditate on which group you belong to. And all timestamps for each group will be in the description box below. So, catch you at your reading. Group one you have chosen this interesting skull this skull yeah <laughs> it's just so funny you've chosen the skull so what do they what are they afraid to tell you what are they afraid to tell you group one Give me one moment. I forgot to grab my cards. What are they afraid to tell you, group one? Okay. Now, the way I have this set up, though, you might not always see the cards, but it's okay. I like how it looks on camera. Um, but yeah, anyway. Oh, I did want to say this. If you have any, like, requests, like there's a specific reading that you want, me to do um, for the channel you can always just drop it in the um, comment section and I will honor your request right and like it really doesn't matter it could be something that just you you want to know about something um, but you don't really want to pay for a reading that's perfectly fine drop it in the comment section and I will do the reading live okay so we're not live but I will record it and I will do it for the channel but anyway, let's get into it. What do they, what are they afraid to tell you, group one? Okay, group one, I was going to clarify with this other deck, but I might do it um, later, but I went ahead and got these out, right? So with this skull and just with everything that's going on, I feel like this person, um, this is somebody with a lot of doubts, okay? This person has a lot of doubts. This person, um, I feel like this is somebody who might think of all the things that will go wrong before they do. So for some of you, this is a specific person you're tuning into, right? Um, here we have the Ace of Pentacles, and then we have the Five of Cups underneath here, right? So this person is afraid to tell you that 
either they don't know if they can give you what you want or they don't know if they if what they can give you is going to be enough this person feels like they're they can disappoint you in some way or they they will disappoint you um there are some changes so with the five of cups here and then you have five 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 right underneath here this person is um Like I said, they're thinking about all the things that can go wrong, right? They're thinking about all the things that can change and go wrong in this situation, okay? Um, there could be some changes coming through for them or there are some conflicts in their life right now that they know can create certain changes or it could be there are certain things in your life. There's something about the circumstance here that they feel is going to bring about some negative changes and so they're kind of afraid to tell you that what they have to offer might be what they have to offer you will change or might change or can change um or they're afraid to tell you that it's unstable that they don't have something that's stable to give you um they could be afraid or or it might not even be that they could just be afraid that what they have is unstable not necessarily that it is but it's like they're afraid of things just not working out, okay? Um, it's what I'm getting. Like, there's fear here, right? Because this excitement, excitement came up in the reverse, right? So this person is, it's like maybe they were excited at first, but now they have anxiety, right? That's what I'm getting, like, fear and anxiety, okay? Um, this person, there's this, it's like, hmm, And then we have, let's just get into the other cards first. So we have this Nine of Cups, and then we have a Queen of Swords here. They feel like, because we also have this Nine of Pentacles, okay? And so I feel like the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, I feel like this is you, okay? And it seems like what they're seeing here with the Nine of Cups is that from their perspective, you are good on your own, right? I mean, the nine of pen pentacles and the nine of cups, they are, they feel like you're good on your own, okay? Um, mm -hmm. But there's this element of judgment here, right? Because here at the top, we see all contentment. We see very straightforward, right? The the Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, right? Very straightforward, easy going, right? Um, fulfillment. But in the, at the bottom is like judgment that's coming through. So we have Five of Cups, the Queen of Swords, right? She has her hand out here. And then the Four of Cups also hand out um, and somebody not taking it. And so what I'm getting here with this Queen of Swords is like, Maybe they feel like you're judging them incorrectly or that you will judge them in a way that won't be favorable to them, right? Right underneath here, we have 888. So I feel like this person is very, very focused on where this is going to go, just in general. They're super focused on where this is going to go, Um and, and maybe they feel like you're guarded, too, because then we have protection underneath. Ooh. <laughs> we have protection underneath, I mean, at the bottom of the deck here. And so this person feels like you're very guarded. And they feel like you have, maybe you have very specific boundaries or very strict boundaries. And so for them, it's like, they feel like you're coming through with, um... You're coming through maybe out of their league or they just overall are feeling like they're afraid to tell you that they don't know if they can be what you need is what I'm getting like in a connection. <clears throat> this person. Hmm. This person may also be in this nine of cups energy. I'm feeling like. Because this almost seems like a, like you're the Nine of Pentacles and maybe they're the Nine of Cups, right? And they feel like maybe, maybe they're afraid to tell you that they 
want to be single, maybe. Some of them, they want to be single. But I also feel like there's a lot of conflict here. They don't really know. I feel like this person doesn't really know. Maybe like I feel like they this is somebody who is definitely comfortable single, right? Um, and I'm also seeing you comfortable single. But at the same time, it's like you've come together and now they are very, very focused on what could go wrong, okay? On what could go wrong or not being enough, right? This Queen of Swords is like judging someone, right? She's laying down this law. This, Like I said, I'm getting boundaries with her. And so uh, this person just might feel like they don't know if they can meet your needs, right? 888, this is about... Like I said, evaluating, um, longevity, working towards something, right? So this person is trying to figure out, like overall, I see their energy is like trying to figure out, can this work? Can it work? Can I give? But they're in this five of cups energy. And I wouldn't even be surprised if like, if I were to do a, a deeper reading on this person, I wouldn't even be surprised if the Five of Pentacles came out because this person, right, this Five of Cups came out right underneath the Ace of Pentacles. So this is about, like, grounding. They don't know how well this can be grounded. Um, and like I said, we have the Nine of Pentacles and then the Four of Cups right underneath. So they feel like you're so, like, you're content here in your garden. You have everything you need. Um, and you might not even feel like, oh, you're perfectly like whatever, but to them, like you look great. You look happy. You look content. Let me check the lighting. Oh, it looks good. You can see everything. Okay. Yeah. So they're like, kind of like, they see you as somebody who is also maybe perhaps like a full package or you're just like, you're, you're a catch is what I'm getting. But overall, you are somebody who is good on your own. Pentacles also make me think of structure. So with this protection here, like I said, they see you as somebody who wants to protect yourself, somebody who wants to protect your peace. And they they are afraid to tell you that they don't know if what they have to give you is what you want. But also I'm looking at these cups here. Hmm. There's a lot coming through. This person, they could be afraid to tell you that they are looking at other options as well. Okay, they could be afraid to tell you that they don't that that oh, it's like they don't want to be compared to your other options. It's like they're it's like they're comparing themselves to your other options or other options they think you have is what I'm getting here. Okay, um, because like I said, they have anxiety. I have no doubt in my mind with all these cups if this is this person, right? I have no doubt in my mind that this person also has options, right? Somebody who also can, you know, maybe they're trying to figure out, you know, where they want to go. But I feel like that's coming from a place of them also not knowing if they are good enough. You know what I mean? So it's not really like, oh, they want to explore their options because they think they're a catch, right? Or they think that they're... And they might, they might have decent self-esteem but what I'm saying is if they are trying to or if they are um, conflicted on whether or not they want to explore other people it's not coming from this place of them feeling like they are just so amazing and so great that they shouldn't settle what's coming through more so is that they don't know if they can be what you need and so they're like looking at your options and then they're also looking at their options and they are, it's like they're trying to weigh out um, the best course of action, right? Because we have six of pentacles here, I mean six of wands here and then judgment right underneath, okay? This person is guarded as well. It's like you're guarded, I feel like you're guarded and they know that. But they're guarded as well because the nine of cups, you see how this man, his arms are crossed. This man's arms are crossed and it's because he's trying to guard his feelings, right? He's trying to, um, it's almost selfish, right? He doesn't want his feelings to be jeopardized. He doesn't want people to come in and take 
the fulfillment that he's found within himself, right? Or, or this could be them not really wanting to give up their options. But this, the Nine of Cups to me can sometimes be coming from a place of lack, right? Like it's not, and it, although it's a nine, it's kind of like, it's almost stingy in a way where it's like, I have built this, I have created this, I have earned all these cups, all these awards, all these accolades, and I don't want to give it up because I'll have to do it all over again. But it's like, they feel like that, that mentality or the way they've been doing things, it just won't be enough for you with the Queen of Swords. Or they they feel like they're going to be judged. Or maybe they feel like the more you see them, the more you're going to judge their... It's like they're comparing their independence with your independence, right? They're comparing what they've created versus what you created. Or your your strength and growth versus their strength and growth, right? It's like... They don't know if they actually measure up in the same way as you. Because look, these cups have fallen over, right? This man has all these cups here. But in the but they are in this five of cups energy where they're looking at things turning over. Like I said, like this person high key is good. Or the situation high key might be good. Like with the two of cups. But they're focused so much on what can go wrong. That they are in a way becoming a bit stingy or a bit closed off or a bit um, apprehensive right with the four of cups here like they don't know if they want to it's like they have all these cups they have all these cups it's like they're just they they don't want their cups to fall over right that's what i'm getting like it's like they're worried that it's like they're afraid to tell you that they don't want they're afraid to tell you that they're worried that committing to you or going deeper into this connection will will cause a loss for them pretty much right they're afraid to be of being hurt again okay and for some of you they may they might be projecting that onto you maybe they've told you like i don't want to hurt you but really they're the one who doesn't want to be hurt so i don't think i'm going to clarify this at all um I'm not, I'm not going to clarify anything at all. I think it's very straightforward. This person, they are the one who is really in this in this mindset of afraid of things not working out. But in reality, they might be telling you like, oh, I don't know if I can give you or oh, I don't want to hurt you or oh, blah, 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 blah. But really, they're the one, they're the ones worried of losing their cups. They're the ones worried of of not having fulfillment or things not working out and I feel like with the excitement here they are excited but it it might feel like anxiety to them like they might feel anxious about it or, or the excitement scares them and it turns to anxiety because now they're like okay this person they are good they are straight but what can I give them is what they're basically saying right I feel like this person feels like all they can give you is their emotions and they don't really want that to be judged too harshly and they don't want to um they feel they're afraid it won't be enough is what i'm getting at the end of the day but yeah, i'm looking at these cups like this person that's like they have all these cups they have all these cups but they're afraid that you just won't take their cup or they're afraid that if they if they choose one cup over another then the others they're going to lose everything. Like, that's kind of where they're at. They're just, like, thinking really negative about it. But that's what they're afraid of telling you. They're afraid of telling you that they don't know if they can be enough. And they're afraid of telling you that they're the ones scared. They're the ones worried. And they're the ones in the lack mentality, right? Because these cups, right? I'm still talking. But this nine of cups, like, these cups can fall over and spill out. But these pinnacles, these pinnacles are a lot more solid. And so they feel like, to them, it's like you come off way more solid than them, even though you both have found fulfillment in singlehood, you know? So anyway, that's all I have for you today, group one. If you enjoyed this reading, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment. And I'm so sorry if I spoke so fast. I don't know why I spoke so fast. But yeah, um, like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Bye.
Hi everybody, welcome to group two. You have chosen the magic dice. And as always, when you choose the magic dice, a question, there's a question here. And I feel like the person or people who are afraid to tell you something, they have a question for you. Um, I'm not gonna roll the dice because I feel like they're the ones with the question. Um, actually, no, you might have a question too. So maybe you have a question for them. So in that case, I will roll this dice before I get into your cards. So go ahead and think of your question for them. Of course, it will have to be a yes or no question. And let's see what the answer is. So think of your question for them. Spirit, please give us the answer to group two's question for their person or people. What's the answer? The answer is always. So I really hope, I mean, always is a yes, but it's like a um, consistent yes, right? Always. So anyway, that was your question. The person or people that are afraid to tell you something, they're afraid to ask you a question. So let's get into it, group two. what I'm getting is that this person they definitely have a question for you and they want to know if you are talking to anyone else period point blank um, there are some details I'm about to get into it but they want to know if you're talking to anybody else they want to know um, there's a few things they want to know but it really does center around who else are you interested in right um, first we have the wheel of fortune then we have the Six of Pentacles, and then we have time and place. So already I'm getting that this person wonders, what are you doing when you're not with them, right? And maybe not necessarily that specifically, but they do wonder, like, what do you do or who do you see, right? In the time that you spend not with them, where do you go? Um, this person is, is trying to figure out... Um, mm, it's like this person wants to know how serious you are. With the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like uh, maybe you just met, right? Maybe this is still new. Um, the Wheel of Fortune lets me know that this is really up in the air. Even though it's it's fire energy, there are all these like clouds around um, the wheel, you know? And so it's like the possibilities of where this is going to go is really up in the air. So I feel like this is somebody you just met. Um, with the Six of Pentacles here, I do see like this person here, and he's holding this um, scale, right? So either, um, yeah, and so this is about like dividing your time, right, or measurement. There's somebody measuring something, and then this person giving out like resources. So this person is like wondering, um, do you give time to other people? Um, it's kind of like they're wondering how available are you or how, um, how generous, right? How generous are you with your time, um, and your effort? They kind of want to know with the wheel of fortune and the six of pentacles. It's like, 
how many people do you give this energy to, right? How many people do you give this effort to, give these resources to, right? Um, then over here we have the Queen of Wands and then we have King of Wands. And then we have what can hibernation do for you? So somebody here is, so with the time and place and then what can hibernation do for you? This is really has to do with like, um, somebody might want to speed things up. Or it might not necessarily be that somebody wants to speed things up, but maybe with the fire here, the wands, both of you showing up as a king and queen of wands, maybe things are moving a bit faster than anticipated. Um, like I said, the wheel of fortune is fire energy. So there's already these, it's like the wheel is, is turning in the situation you're in, right? Like the wheel is turning, it's moving now. And so now that the wheel is moving, this person that you're inquiring about wants to know where can this go, right? I'm seeing here with the what can hibernation do for you. There's kind of this energy of saying, okay, well, you like me and I like you. And, you know, things are things are moving. So what what do we need to wait for is what they're saying. Like, or, or maybe they're trying to weigh, weigh these options of like, okay, things are moving. But what can hibernation do for us, right? What can slowing things down, how can that benefit us, right? Time and place as well. I feel like um, with the Six of Pentacles, maybe they're trying to figure out like how measured to be. Somebody's trying to figure out how measured they need to be or they're, they're noticing how measured you are and they want to know like why. Um, what is all of this, you know, precaution for, right? And they and a part of them does wonder if it's because you are talking to other people um, or for some of you, they're wondering if you've moved on from a partner in the past. OK, so we have the three of wands and we have the three of cups here. Right. So this person is trying to figure out their question for you really is like, where is this going? Does this have longevity moved on at, um, right underneath those? So they want to know, like, are we just having a good time? Have you moved on from the past, right? Or are you still involved with other people? Um, then we have devil here, the devil at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, and then two of wands right underneath that, right? So this person is, like, really trying to figure out, like, how available you are is what I'm getting. This person wants to know how available are you to see where this situation goes they have a suspicion that you are either talking to other people or that you've simply not moved on from a connection in the past okay um they have this feeling that perhaps maybe you are entertaining somebody from your past or that you're still talking to somebody from your past still giving them the time of day um and they're they don't, I'm not getting anything hostile here, but I do feel like this person is, because I feel like this is really new, right? This is new, new, new. So they're feeling like, mm, does this have, it's like they're really just trying to figure out like, where can this go? Does this have potential to go anywhere? Or if it's something that they need to move on from themselves. I do see with all of the fire here that this person, um, feels like you guys have a good time you guys really enjoy each other there's a lot of attraction here and then with the wands right we got three of wands and then we have two of wands underneath here so there is a lot of like potential and possibility in this connection but they're trying to figure out how worth it it is right because the devil here like i said this person may be feeling like maybe you're talking to other people or maybe you haven't moved on from an ex but also with the potential, like they're trying to figure out, does this the, is this something that has potential to be toxic? Or does this have potential to be healthy, right? This person doesn't want a toxic relationship is what I'm seeing. You know, I feel like there's a lot of attraction here, but this person doesn't want anything toxic. They don't want to compete with you. I mean, or not with you, but they don't want to compete for you with other people. They don't want to be involved with somebody who is giving their time and energy to other people. Um, this is somebody who, like I said, there's a pair here. This is somebody who um, wouldn't want to share you. 
with everybody or anybody, right? With the Wheel of Fortune, right? They're trying to figure out, like, I just heard get around. <laughs> so they're trying to figure out, like, are you getting around? But then also the Wheel of Fortune here looks like a little clock. And so they're kind of trying to figure out, like, like I said, just where can this go, right? How long? It's like they're trying to figure out how long to give you or how long to see where things go. Or they're trying to figure out, is the clock run out? Um, there's just something about longevity here with time, right? Um, this person may also feel like over time things will reveal themselves. But like I said, with the what can hibernation do for you, that yeah, that is kind of what they're thinking. Like, how can waiting things out um, show me what I need to see, pretty much, right? This person is trying... This person wants things to reveal themselves, but I don't see them, like, trying to force any revelations. I see them kind of like, a, they want time to play out to see where things go, but I do feel like there is this energy here of wondering about you. Like, do you want that as well? Or also, like, time is going to reveal to them who you are. You know what I'm saying? They are going to allow time to show them, is this toxic or not? Can this go somewhere or not, right? Are you interested in seeing where things go with them? Or are you interested in partying with other people with the Three of Cups, you know? Moved on, like I said, like, I feel like this person, for them, if you if they feel like you're interested in talking to other people, they're going to move on, okay? And that's what they really want to know. They feel like if you are interested in other options... They're not even going to sweat it. They're just going to move on, okay? And then at the bottom here, we have, you cannot build muscle if you do not use them. Oh, and then we have too young at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like for a lot of you, this connection is just too, too new, right? It's too new for them to really make a decision about anything. Um, also, somebody in the connection could be younger than the other, you know, but... Yeah, I'm feeling like they just, they there's a part of them that feels like this connection's too young or too new for them to really make a decision. But then also with here, you cannot build muscle if you do not use them. And so this has a lot to do with just like, I feel like with them waiting things out and jumping to conclusions, right? They feel like, okay, this connection can't grow if I don't allow it to grow. Or things can't reveal themselves if I don't allow them to reveal themselves, right? You can't build muscle if you don't use them. So this is about kind of like them thinking um, that this situation, like they feel like the situation just needs more time to develop for them to actually make like a real decision about how this is going to go or what they're going to do. You know what I'm saying? But I do feel like they have this question for you of like, and I feel like this is not even a question that they're going to ask you outright. This is like a question in their mind, right? What they're afraid to ask you is if you're dating other people. And if you see this going anywhere, pretty much. Um, but yeah, I think that's where I should leave it for group two. I hope that resonated. Um, oh, but I should say this underneath here, forgive and grow, right? They feel like, they feel like if... Um, I feel like for them, whoever this is that you're um, inquiring about, they're not going to ha have any heart feelings. I feel like for them, this is merely a matter of just trying to figure out where is this connection going to go. And if it turns out that it's not a situation they can be in, they're not going to hold, hold it against you or them. They're going to forgive the situation and they're going to grow from it. Um... But yeah, they just feel like it's, they feel like this connection is a little, a little new, a little too new to, to determine, um, what's going to happen in it. And they feel like there needs to be more time to see how things are going to play out. But I do see that for them, they're not going to, they're not going to, um, be juggled, right? They're not going to be they're not going to deal with you if you're dealing with other people is what i'm feeling so anyway that's all i have for you today group through group two if you enjoyed this reading and or it resonated go ahead and give this video a thumbs up feel free to leave a comment and if you would like to be notified whenever i post new videos 
then subscribe and ring that notification bell. Bye! Hey group three, you have chosen the black tourmaline, okay? I love this chunky rock. <laughs> Um, but anyway, we're going to get into your reading of what do they, whether it's a group or a specific person, um, what do they, what are they afraid to tell you? So far, um, it has been like love related, which is fine. I don't care. You know, this is your reading, <laughs> but whatever comes through, um, you know, I'm happy to give I'm happy to deliver those messages. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle and get right into your reading, group three. some of you may need to watch group one there's a bit of a similar energy here um, some similar cards or just a couple similar cards similar energy but maybe not um, you'll know if that resonates with you or not group three um, but for those of you that you don't need to look at group one the reason I'm saying that is because while both of them are similar this one, I feel like this is for people who are in already a committed relationship. Okay? Group three. Let's get into it. So, what I'm feeling overall is that I do think somebody is afraid of having a really important conversation with you. Okay? I do feel like this is like a breakup or a divorce. Because we do have the Queen of Swords and then the King of Swords here, okay? Um, mm. For some of you, this could be a divorce. I'm getting two different messages, okay? But let's just get into it. Anyway, so I have four of wands here. And then we have the Three of Swords underneath. This Three of Swords did not know if it wanted to be in the reverse or not. So what I'm feeling like is for some of you, you're already married with the, th with the Two of Wands, I mean the Four of Wands, and somebody wants a divorce, right? Somebody, um, we have perfect timing here on, at the bottom of the deck, I mean at the bottom underneath these. Um, so somebody's like looking for the perfect time to, to bring this up, Okay. Somebody's looking for the perfect time to bring this up. However, on the other end, and I feel like this is where I'm going to like really, really ask y'all to really use your discernment here. Not with necessarily this reading, but with your person and your connection. Okay? You know if your connection is headed towards marriage. Even if you don't like the answer, you already know. You also know if it's headed towards divorce like i said this three of swords wanted to come out in reverse but it i don't know it just it didn't know where it wanted to be and so for some of you this person um is afraid to to uh pop the question right so this is like uh this might be a big group i feel like group three always ends up being like the biggest group um, and I don't know why, maybe it's probability or just maybe it's just the nature of things. But group three usually ends up being the most dynamic. But I do feel like for some of you, somebody's 
look, waiting for the perfect time to ask you to marry them or waiting for the perfect time to ask for a divorce. Because this Three of Swords here does have to do with heartbreak, but it also has to do with healing, okay? Somebody might feel like with the Three of Swords in reverse, maybe they feel like they're ready. Maybe they feel like they're not scared of that anymore or that idea or they've been working up this courage. Uh, maybe somebody has just been afraid of rejection. So they're waiting for the perfect time. Like they don't want you to break their heart by rejecting their proposal. So they're waiting for the perfect time to pop the question. On the other end of that spectrum, somebody is afraid of just hurting you. Somebody, if you are married or in just a, in a relationship, um, possibly I'm saying like long-term relationship, then this person is just, they don't want to hurt you, okay? You guys could actually be going through a pretty decent time in your life right now or in your relationship right now and so even more reason for this person like to not want to create any chaos or they don't want to hurt like they just don't want to make you unhappy and so there's just like this perfect timing situation where they're just looking for the perfect time to say what they need to say and bring up the thing they need to bring up um then over here we have ace of pentacles with the Queen of Swords, and then we have everything cast a shadow underneath. So this person, like I said, for some of you, this person wants to ask you to marry them, or they want to just deepen the commitment, right? Let's say you, you're neither of you are ready for marriage, but this person wants to be in a relationship. They feel like with the Queen of Swords, like, like you're just not, like they, they have this fear that you're just not going to be interested right that you're going to reject them everything casts a shadow right they feel like there's something there it's like they're afraid that there's something about them or about the connection that they don't see that would cause you to want to not have not want to deepen the connection okay um on the other hand like i said this person with everything casts a shadow um for them like they see that the connection itself has not been great, right? Maybe on the surface, things are good. Uh, maybe right now you guys are in a peaceful period of your relationship, but they just feel like there's this under there's this underlying negativity or this underlying issue that you guys have not been able to solve. And they do feel like um, a part of them is like, I don't know, with the Queen of Swords, there's like this energy of somebody like judging the connection um, and wanting to end the commitment. Or, and I feel like for some of you, if somebody wants to end the relationship, it does have to do with like work or a job or some new opportunity that came in. Um, the more I look at this, I do feel, however, that the breakup scenario is only for, is for a, a smaller percentage of people. Okay. So like I said, please, please, please use your, your discernment. You know, if your relationship has the potential to head towards marriage, um, Others of you, if you know it doesn't, then this person wants to break up. But it's not because they don't like you. There's just something here where they feel like maybe you guys are not in alignment. But with the Queen of Swords and King of Swords, I feel like most of you, this person wants to deepen your connection. But they feel like there are things about it that might cause you to say no. And they are worried about that. They are worried about rejection. Okay? Then we have um, Seven of Cups here, the Seven of Cups, and then we have the King of Swords. And then underneath that, we have More Flies with Honey. So I'm saying that this person is being very strategic, right? This person to me is coming out as the King of Swords, and you're the Queen of Swords, but you can switch the energies, it doesn't matter. Um, but it's like they're coming off as being very strategic, right? With the Seven of Cups and then the More Flies with Honey, this person is like trying to figure out the best way to approach you with this proposal, right? Because they, they want you to say yes, right? Or at least they want you to be agreeable. In whatever scenario you're in, they want you to be agreeable or they want the situation to be resolved um, as peacefully as possible, right? So if it's, a, if it's a proposal of some sort, they want you to say yes. They want it to be happy. They want it to fill you both with joy. Um, but if they want to end the connection, they want it to be like, you know, just peaceful. Like they want it to just be where you, 
Like, I feel like this person would be the type to want to sit down and talk about it and just reach a conclusion. And you both, like, shake hands and just be like, all right, peace out. But like I said, for most of you, this is somebody who wants to deepen the connection. And they are afraid to tell you that. They are afraid to tell you that they want to get married. They're afraid to tell you that they want to either maybe live together or that they want... Some, for some of you, they want to have, like... Um, Maybe they want to start some type of business together, um, like a family business or something. I don't know. But yeah, with the Seven of Cups and More Flies with Honey, this person is like trying to figure out the best way to do this so that you will say yes, is what I'm getting. Whew, my gosh. But yeah, and then under at the bottom of the deck, we have Cry It Out. And the only way out is up, okay? Mm. so yeah I'm still getting mixed messages because underneath here it says no more somebody wants to end the relationship for sure but for most of you I feel like this is somebody who wants to deepen it but maybe you guys have had conflicts in the past right maybe you guys your relationship has just not been the greatest or there's just been a lot of there have been a lot of little problems I'm seeing like little problems um and so that's why they're like worried that you won't say yes. But for others of you, like I said, that's the reason why they want to break up, but they feel like you won't see it that way, right? For them, these little problems have added up to create a, to make this relationship a little bit unbearable, right? With the world here, somebody wants to be free. Somebody wants to do their own thing. But then we have Queen of Cups here. I feel like this is like maybe you always come through with a solution to a problem and this person like doesn't really want to solve the problems in the relationship they want to just end the relationship um, but they're just trying to find the perfect time like this is so convoluted no cap this is so convoluted because I can't tell which one is really the dominant energy but at the same time I do feel like I feel like the breakup one is slightly less of you is what I'm feeling. But yeah, this person, like, at the end of the day with the world here at the bottom of the deck, this is somebody who wants this to just be resolved the best way possible, right? This person is ready to go into a new cycle with you, whether that is ending the relationship or deepening the, the connection, whichever one. But with the cry it out here, that's what I wanted to get into. Because I'm getting, oh, I'm feeling like, One, I feel like this has to do with getting over your fear and anxiety, right? Cry it out, let it go. I also feel like this is about um, wanting, because the three of swords was in reverse, like wanting, so instead of people crying sad tears, they want happy tears, right? Or they want to dry your tears. But like, if, like I said, this is about breaking up. This person, they don't want you to be sad, but at the same time, I feel like this is about them like, kind of like, um, trying to just build that courage to just do the thing that's going to hurt, you know? Um, I don't know. This is so confusing, but I feel like you guys are going to know. I feel like for y'all, it's going to make more sense than it's going to make sense for me because it's not my relationship. But anyway, I am going to leave it there. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated. Um, feel free to leave a comment and if you would like to be notified whenever I post new videos, then subscribe and ring that notification bell. Bye group three.